Hello YouTube, today we have a learning board video in which I will show the difference between low brake and high brake. Because there is a confusion between these two functions of the controller, the frequent question is which one should I connect to my system and why they exist since they perform the same function. Today I will explain and show the difference between them to clarify this issue. Now I will explain you the board. So we will start with the battery. This is our main battery, 36 volt, 7 amp. Our main panel is here. We will use only the switch, the ignition switch, to activate the controller. Here is our uh, universal controller, which is about 350 watts. Can operate with uh, 36 volts and 48 volt system. From this uh, controller, we will use the throttle, which is this connector, most common connector for the throttle and with uh, common wires which regular uh, red, uh, green and uh, black wires. So we know that this is throttle, here is writing on Chinese. We will use the low brake, the high brake which is this uh, yellow one. Here is our phase wire, so the motor. Hole sensor wires. And the power wires uh, for the battery and the ignition. So let's start uh, connect the battery and the controller to see the difference between low brake and high brake uh, function. Okay, the connection between the motor and the controller, it's ready. So next I will connect the throttle. I have the plug here with the crocodile connectors. So on the red wire I have the 5 volts, the green goes to white wire, which is a signal and the ground, the black wire. Here is our throttle, twist throttle, ground goes to the middle, the signal, some green wire, and the power of 5 volts. Next I will connect the power to the battery, just power and leave it here. After the power, next is our ignition. This wire is for the ignition. I must connect it on the high voltage of the battery, which is here. As you can see, it's connected to the red thick power wire and I will send it to ignition switch. Next is to connect the ignition wire from the controller on the switch. Next I will give the ground wire to my panel. Like that, I can see if uh, my controller is activated or not. Now it's switched off and now it's switched on. So like that, we know that the controller is activated now. We are ready to test the controller to see if the motor is turning. It's turning fine. Very nice sound. We know that everything is okay. I will, I will switch off the controller, it will not work. So again, I will activate it, everything is working. 
and now we will start with the low break so our low break wire is here white and black wires the black and white wires Now we are ready to test the low brake. I will twist the throttle. It's working fine. And when I will pull the handle brake, it's disconnected. Okay. So the handle brake is just switch one limit switch I can also short it like that and it will not work by the shorting the wires it will not work so the low break is just signal of 5 volts which going to MCO the controller and deactivate the motor just deactivate and now let's connect the high brake the yellow wire and see the difference I will disconnect the low brake now it's disconnected Now here we have the high brake. To activate the high brake, you must connect it on high voltage. Where is the high voltage? High voltage is here on positive wire of the button. Okay, if I connect it here, it will be deactivated the motor. So now it's working. Deactivated working. Okay, I can connect it just like previous one here on the handlebar. The second wire, as we say, must go to high voltage, like that. I will turn it. It's working fine. Deactivate it. Fine. Deactivate it. So it is same thing, exactly the same thing. The difference is that on high level brake, I can put load there. If I have stop light, I can activate by the handle brake. On low brake, you cannot do that. Most probably you will burn your controller if the signal output is uh, not isolated you will burn for for sure your uh, controller so now let's connect the stop light on the handle brake for just now i will use this light this is front light but i will use it just for the experiment nothing else this light working with uh, high voltage inside uh, you can find a step down the module which takes high voltage on these wires and reduce it uh, to 12 volts so if I put here high voltage it will uh, work uh, fine I will connect the ground here and the positive wire to my high voltage power Now it's working. If I turn off my system ignition, it will turn off. Now it's working. So how I can connect on the handle brake? As you can see here we have 
power straight from the high voltage system. From the output of the switch, I can connect my power wire of the lights. So, now it is ready. If I will pull my handle brake, imagine this light is red, okay? Stop light. So, let's test it. It's working fine. Motor is deactivated and the lights is activated. Stopper lights. Okay. If I will turn off my system, my ignition, nothing working. Just like that. This is the difference between low brake and high brake. On high brake can apply power. I can pass power from this signal. This is important thing to activate the stopper lights or uh, everything else. That's it. Simple diagram. And uh, see you later.